Hi, it's Arielle from Sphinx Financial Planning. Today we're going to be talking about a topic called transition planning. Before I begin, let me say that I am not an attorney and this video is meant to be educational rather than legal advice. If you need help with a legal matter, please contact an attorney who is licensed to practice in the state where you live. Let's begin by defining transition planning. Transition planning is a piece of the estate planning process that involves the period of time before someone dies when they begin transitioning decision-making power to another person. As a young adult, it is important to start talking to your parents about their transition plan early rather than waiting until something happens and you can no longer speak to them about what their wishes are. It can be uncomfortable to acknowledge that someone you love will eventually grow older and die, but it is so important to start the conversation early and have it often to ensure that your parents' wishes are respected. So how do you start the conversation? Begin slowly. Listen rather than speak. Let your parents know that you're trying to understand rather than dictate their wishes. If they get angry or upset, take a step back and put yourself in their shoes. Any major life transition is an inherently emotional process and it's understandable that this can be an uncomfortable and emotional topic for them to talk about. Remember when you were a teenager? Not only were your body and mind going through many changes, but you were also gaining independence. Aging is like becoming a teenager, only in reverse. Instead of gaining physical and mental capabilities, we begin losing them, and instead of gaining independence and control over our daily lives, we begin to relinquish control to another person. By allowing your parents to express their wishes, you give them agency over this transition period and peace of mind knowing that their wishes will be respected rather than what you think their wishes are or what you believe is best for them. Once you've opened up the conversation, encourage your parents to document their wishes using a living will, a healthcare proxy or healthcare power of attorney, and a financial power of attorney. A living will is a document that outlines a person's medical wishes under various circumstances. For example, a living will will typically state whether a person wishes to be intubated or resuscitated, whether or not they want pain management, or whether or not they want to be an organ or tissue donor. A healthcare proxy designates a person or people to make healthcare decisions on another person's behalf if those healthcare decisions are not already listed in the living will. A healthcare agent cannot typically override the terms of the living will, but it's still important for your parents to choose someone they trust has their best interests in mind. A financial power of attorney gives a person or people power over the financial affairs of another person. For example, a financial agent may do things like sell a piece of property or liquidate assets in order to pay for the other person's medical expenses or other living expenses. Just like with the healthcare proxy, it is important for your parents to choose someone as their financial agent that they trust has their best interests in mind. Depending on the type of power of attorney, this power can begin either immediately or at a specified date in the future and can either end after a certain period of time has elapsed or end upon death. In addition to these formal documents, it's also a good idea for your parents to make a list of important information. For example, this list should contain the location of key financial documents and other important property, a list of bills, when they are due and what their amounts are, and feeding instructions for any pets or any other important activities that must be completed on a regular basis. Imagine that your parents are going away on an extended vacation and you're taking control of their affairs while they're away. These are the types of instructions that this list should include. So when is the best time to have this conversation? Your parents may be in their 40s or their 50s. They may still be very healthy and physically active. Even so, the best time to have this conversation is right now. Any one of us can become incapacitated at any time. Sometimes this happens suddenly, and sometimes it happens slowly and imperceptibly. If you and your parents haven't planned ahead of time, 
there is a chance that you could try and start the transition process too early, which may lead to anger and resentment, or too late, which may lead to issues such as identity theft, unfiled taxes, and even physical accidents, all of which can possibly be avoided. The earlier you start having this conversation and the more often you have it, the easier it becomes. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment below to let us know what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.